Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will, together with our mascot, who is Montezuma the Axolotl. He's not moving, but he's alive, okay? He's breathing. You can see his uh, girls moving in back and forth, which means he's taking oxygen from water. So the tech guy there and me are going to review our, uh, our new battery charger, right? And I chose this model here from Amazon for a couple of reasons. Um, one is you can also charge a, uh, a nickel metal hydride battery with that. So what it is, it's a charger, uh, 12 volts and uh, 24 volts. It does lithium, lead, uh, lithium ferrite, blah, blah, blah. And also there does some repair on the battery. So let's open it and see what's inside so we got some user's guide different colors I like the yellow one that's why I got it and more stuff thank you card and another user's guide well someone really screwed up on this one I put two user's guides in there that's fine I'll, I'll take that Okay, so this is the device. It's uh, maybe you know, come a little wider than than a hand, a little shorter than a hand, a little wider than you know, four fingers there. Um, it has a couple of molds. So best way to show this thing is actually to try it, right? So let me get this guy here and untangle those cables. So this is the power cable, I will leave this side, I have a power on the right there, and let me untangle now the terminals, okay, this side, and I have a little battery over here, okay, a UPS battery, so black one on black terminal, red one on red terminal okay oops it powers up directly even before I hook up anything on at power and let me show you cable power still here and you can see this battery is 20 Celsius 12.8 volts and it's pretty much at 100%, so that's what I expected. I charged that not that long ago. Um, so imagine you have a dead battery in your car. It automatically detects um, the voltage required and the temperature, because the temperature is important um, to figure out the time of the charge, right? How fast to go, how long you keep your charge. And uh, so let me make sure it's fully charged. I will plug it in anyway. And keep that here so you can see oops let me move that so you can see that uh, what's going on there when I plug it in okay hold on a sec oops come on stay there I got the cable entangled on the keyboard here so give me one sec and I need to figure out where this thing goes and just plug it in so I don't see any Oh yeah, it goes to off. Uh, there is a fan coming on. If you can hear that, probably you can. You are hearing the Axolotl's um, fan, but uh, there is a little fan over here too. And uh, you can see it's actually loading to 14.4. That's the voltage being applied. 1.8 amps, uh, 1.0 amp now. And um, yeah, probably it's not fully, fully charged, so that's why you're seeing that. Um, reducing the, the amps, you see now 0 0.9, right? 21 Celsius, it's getting warmer inside, you are charging the battery, that's expected. 14.4, uh, 21 Celsius, and what's the current? 0, 0 0.7 amps, so 700 milliamps now, and the battery is over there. Uh, let's see 
and now there is something saying T E T which I'm not sure what it is probably need to check the user's guide and see what T E T is let me keep that running for now but that's the, the purpose of it that's how it works easy simple um, it should work in your car with your battery plugged into the car or not uh, if you want to be 100% you know, safe you disconnect from the car and you know plug this in if you are completely dead um, or you can also do that connected according to the instructions but be careful you know there's a sequence of how there's a sequence how you, co you connect those probes right uh, to avoid sparks and the uh, possible explosion so be careful uh, read your instructions do things in, at, uh, under your own risk and, and decision but this is how it works uh, I hope you you like it um, I would you know give some more reviews after I test this a little more thanks for watching my channel please subscribe to it um, and also click on the on the bell so you can get notifications when you have new videos to watch and for now that's uh, where we're going to stop except we're going to go back to Montezuma, the Tech Axolotl, and I hope to see you in the our next transmission. Bye!